up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Will, back at it again, and yes, I'm back. It's been a while, and I'm glad I'm able to come back to you all on this day right here. Now, I know I kind of went in my on you all, but a lot of things was going on, but we just gonna leave that in the past. So, in today's video, we're gonna be going over something simple, just to go ahead and get the ball rolling on this new series that I plan on starting here. This is gonna be a quick tip on how to cut that CPU down as much as possible so that way that you're not getting that crackling sound while you're trying to finish that beat or just have a slow workflow in general. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button, hit that notification bell, and oh yeah, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. All right, it's good to be back, y'all. Any questions, bring in the hook. YouTube fam so now let's go ahead and get into this video now like I said we're gonna be going over a simple trick that's gonna help cut that CPU usage down as far as possible all right let's get into it so now I got this beat that I'm working on up and I'm just about ready to export it but I'm running into a little bit of a problem it's crackling every time I play it as you can see It just sounds horrible right now. It's not keeping up with the tempo or anything. It's just slow. Not to mention, I have a couple of plugins that's loading up very slowly because of this. And that's because my CPU usage is at 77. It goes higher or lower from time to time, depending on what I'm doing or what the computer is using at this point in time. Now, of course, everyone knows you can simply just close out some of the plugins that you're not using or have them to where they're cut off. When they're about to turn back on, FL will basically turn them back on so that they can be in use and not using as much CPU as it normally does. Now, when you have everything playing at once, that's kind of hard for FL to get that through its brain. So here's another trick that you may or may not know. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here, go to options. Once you go to options, hit that project general settings. Now, this little screen is going to pop up. What you want to go to is time-based PPQ. Now, with time-based PPQ, mine is set at 120. Yours may be set at something different. All right, so what you want to do is hit that. But where you want to go, click on 24. Once you click on 24, a little prompt is going to show up. Go ahead and hit yes. Now, you may see a little change in your project, but don't worry about that. All right, as you can see, it disappeared, but it just shrunk it very small. All right, so as you can see, it went from like 77 down to about 51, and that's more realistic, especially when you're working with an older computer like me. I still got the same computer from when I first started. It's time for me to get a new one, but hey, it is what it is. So once I hit play, let's see what it sounds like now. As you can see that that sounds 100% better and that crackling is not going on and I swear to you that you're gonna thank me as these projects get bigger and you start to add more elements into your beats and for some reason your computer is just old this is you probably won't have that problem with the newer computers with like the 16 gigabytes of RAM and stuff like that. But if you're working with an older computer like me, those tips and tricks help tremendously. All right. So that's it for today's video. Be sure you subscribe, like, comment, please. And any questions? I'll see y'all in the next video. Bring in the hook.